Hello everyone, this is Junaid. I think you guys know me if you watched some other videos. So here I am back again. Here is an announcement for all of our users. We have released our latest version of Equip OI software and firmware, which is now a combined version of all three functions and we have included a new CNC professional software into it. Now you can control the CNC carving speed, you can write any text and create shape to curve with this new software you can import any vector or image file for cnc carving literally other than new cnc software fdm and laser software remains the same except some minor changes in this video i am going to show you how to use equip OI software to use three function and a depth tutorial for cnc software so let's move on first of all you need to download the latest software and firmware from our official website you can upgrade the firmware according to the firmware upgradation file which you can also download it from our official website after upgrading the latest firmware install the equip OS software here you can see i have already downloaded the software and installed it so when you open the software you will see the default fdm 3d printing screen what you need to do to open the CNC software is click this machine menu and select toy DIY 4-in-1 and then select which function you wanted to use. Like if you wanted to use laser tool head, laser function then click here and if you want to use CNC then click here. After that you will see a prompt dialog box it will ask for your permission let's see click here so you can see there is a one dialog box come out and it says that opening the equip maker cnc so here is the button for add to desktop button and here is yes or no so if you wanted to add this cnc to your desktop as a shortcut icon then you can click here if you don't want then you can also just click here yes then it will open so in my case i will click here the c add to desktop and it's already created so now you can close this one and open this software is opening so this is our all new cnc software in this menu you can import the model you want you can use any vector image you can use just image files like jpeg png bmp svg files and you can also open any g-code file and process it with our cnc software so in this creating graphics menu you can create any text you can write any text and create any shape that you want and in this scale graphics menu you can control the size height and width of your model so if you cross 100 millimeter then it will show one warning later i will show you and in this graphics rotation menu you can see you can change the angle like 90 degree minus 90 mirror x and in this parameter and this is very important menu so in this parameter menu you can change the carving speed carving depth and z up positions so if you change the carving speed like 90 120 so we recommend the carving speed to lower position like 30 60 90 because different materials requires different carving speed so if the carving speed is less the carving effect will be good so we recommend like 30 60 and 90 and these values are for special circumstances and for the carving depth you can choose from here minus 1 to minus 6 and z up position this value it's after finish your carving cnc bit will move up 50 millimeter from your object surface it means that so the safest position will move from the object so the highest number it will good for the safety so i will choose 20 and let's open a file and from here you can show the moving path or you can just deselect it so i will show you these things later okay let's open this one image file let's open image file like this one is our company's logo okay let's open this one so after you open a 
file import a file you will have this dialog box in this dialog box you can see image corrections brightness contrast gamma and saturation so if you open a image like any landscape image or any abstract image that contain some other colors like gray green some other colors so you can use this options to mix it black and white and make it more bright so that the software can understand which part you wanted to carve so in this we can change these things you can remove mirror like this so so uh, i think in my case everything is okay make it more bright so the more it will bright and the more it will easy to carve so you can also play with this thing this settings and this one is the smooth smoothening options so the effect is very less but it will have some effect on your carving so i will choose 5 and this one is the create g code after you click here create g code so as you can see this one is the values and it's done when it's written done then you can close this one and as you can see this is our logo that we import here and this green lines is the curving path as you can see show moving path so if you just deselect it and it will disappear so if you want to show this one that which part it will travel then you will see okay let's see let's change the value from here maybe uh, 60 we want and here it's all it will automatically proportionally changed every time okay so carving speed 60 millimeter per second per minute sorry so here is the important things that if you change any parameters from here after you import the file you will see this dialog box appears and you will just click create g code and next time it will save so if i do like this then you can see the dialog box appears again then create g code and it's done so it's saved so in this file menu you can see that you can change the language so we have this kind of language like german russian spanish portuguese french chinese arabic and japanese so you can change the language from here from this menu okay and g code creation menu you can see create text and create simple shapes you can create shapes and if you create the embossed then you need to use other software like fusion 360 so we have a manual for fusion 360 degree right now our manual is in chinese so very soon we will generate a english manual for this and from this geco transformation so you can see the mirror like this kind of functions here and you can find the help and user guide okay that's all so this is our scale so you can see 90 by 90 180 and 180 millimeter so from this scale you can also understand that how long it is and what is the parameter okay so let's save the g code we will save the g code like logo you can make a logo let's save it you can make a you can make a logo okay let's save it to our desktop okay it's saved so i will take this model to my sd card and i will show you the machines end how to print and how to get the final carving result so let's move on to that so in this section we will show you how to do the cnc carving with our machine settings so let's see so we already set the cnc carving tools and cnc carving graft to our bed and we already installed the cnc tool head to this arm and connect the wire and we already fixed the tool head mounting screw so let's see now we will place a piece of acrylic so let's 
place the acrylic and make it tight so you need to make sure that you just fix this one tight enough so that it can't move hold that much shrinking that time so we already fixed this one and so that it can't move and so let's turn on the machine so here you can see i already take the uh, g code that i have processed with our software the eq maker logo that file so i already i insert the sd card to our machine and let's see let's open the machine so you can see www.equipmaker.com and it's all open so this is the new firmware looks like and you can see that it shows the cnc 3d printer it means this is the right tool head we have installed and this is the right function so if it doesn't show up like shows fdm or laser tool head something like that then you need to make sure that you change the utility change the settings from here like change the tool header and change it to the cnc tool head so if you work with other software but it doesn't show the right tool head here then you can change the settings like this from here the same same settings okay let's move on let's go to the cnc print guide so let's click here and place object as you can see we already placed the object here our acrylic and then move the axis so x y z axis so you must have to make sure that you move the axis in the middle of your object and just touch the object just touch this surface of this object don't push it too down otherwise maybe it break the cnc bit so let's move so what we need to do so in this case for the x and y axis you can just move from your hand you can just move from your hand like this and like this and so you can see from this angle so i will change the z right now i will click here i will change the z and i will make it down so as you can see this one is not in the middle i think so i will make it down and little with this okay make it down and you can use one a4 paper to see if it's move like this so it hasn't fixed it's almost so as you can see it's almost near to the surface so it's okay so now what you need to do just click here and save the settings and set origin done and then print from sd so we have done this one you can make a logo did file so we will select you can make a logo and as you can see it just start printing right away so in this update we have changed the starting time so as you can see so we have done our engraving now as you can see this is our final carving objects so now i am going to turn off the machine and thank you for watching let me know if you have any questions you can comment below or you can contact us through our facebook and you can also join our facebook group if you need any kind of help you can also email me